For about 100 years, the British Broadcasting Corporation has claimed to be proud of its practice of impartial journalism. Well, at least that's what he says. However, a recent investigation has put that in serious doubt. It finds that a former BBC reporter, Martin Bashir, acted in a deceitful way to secure an interview with Princess Diana back in the 1990s, and the British media outlet fell short of high standards of integrity and transparency over the incident. I'm Meng Zihang, and this is Xinhua Commentary. The latest findings dropped an absolute bombshell. First of all, Martin Bashir used fake documents to gain trust from Princess Diana and her brother Earl Spencer. That's pretty much how he got the chance to interview the princess. And then, when Mr. Bashir's little trick became known, the BBC stepped in and helped cover it up. I know some of you may be shrugging your shoulders and go, "I don't see what the fuss is all about." But impartial journalism detests any form of foul play, especially this kind. Plus. It's precisely this interview that the BBC reporter successfully talked Princess Diana into letting her gut down and got those juicy quotes. Prince William recently condemned the interview for making a major contribution to worsening his parents' relationship. The interview was a major contribution to making my parents' relationship worse, and has since hurt countless others. British Culture Secretary Oliver Dalgen also says the investigation reveals damning failings at the heart of the BBC, and he will consider whether further governance reforms are needed. The high-profile interview reveals how easily the BBC is willing to cast aside principles and integrity simply to gain great viewership. And this is just one incident among many. Proving the BBC's failing its self-portrayed image as a reliable information provider, as BBC's own media editor Amora Jiang has put it, this investigation will not just injure the BBC but scar it, and I doubt that scar will ever get the chance to heal.